Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 20th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had quite the volatility. We saw those bears come in and push us down. We were down over 300 points in the Dow at one point, and then we turned around to rally back up to kind of finish the day, only down around 100 points on the day. And we had some critical failures here yesterday that we'll talk about in just a second. But today is the day. Today is the day we're going to be finding out what the FOMC is going to do. So pretty much no matter what happens, um, the first part of the day, everything could change when the FOMC makes their announcement. So how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, as I said in that intro, today is the FOMC day, so we're likely going to gyrate around this morning um, in some kind of a hurry up and wait for the uh, FOMC announcement and then decide how we're going to act after the uh, Fed press conference that happens at 2.30. But let's take a look at these charts. First off, as you can see, we broke down below this um, support level in the chart yesterday, broke down. We officially made a lower low yesterday. So there is our lower high and our lower low confirming that we are still in a downtrend. And you can see um, the rally back up here to retest this resistance. Um, remember, hammer patterns require a follow through. Hammer patterns are nice. They can say, hey, the bulls are stepping back in, but it doesn't matter unless they can follow through. And we can see here in the pre-market, and, and by the way, guys, I'm, I'm recording this at uh, 5.30 a.m. Central Time. So a um, little bit on the early side, we're trying to pump this up heading into the pre-market to inspire some buying to follow through whether they can do that or not that will be the question now keeping in mind um, looking right across here we have a little upside um, um, issue here where we've got our uh, channel or our excuse me our trend break and as we rally back up we're also going to hit that downtrend line here in the chart and that could create some resistance right in this area. Now there's another area here that we will have to think about because our trend um, actually has kind of changed. We're right here and right here. So we've opened up a little bit bigger opportunity in the chart. If we could rally through this up into there, we could still run into that price resistance in the chart. Uh, keeping in mind that we're still well below our 50 day moving average here. So really nothing changed yesterday other than the whipsaw in the market and uh, wasn't a big surprise that that occurred. Now, um, if the bulls can find inspiration today, I would look for first a test of this resistance, see if we can break through here. If we can, then we're probably looking for something up in this area of the chart, um, right around the center of this wedge, possibly even a little bit higher in that to see if we can pop on through that area. Now, anything is possible prior to that announcement from the FOMC. So we could pop up really easily and then reverse and come right back down uh, then, then, you know, in the afternoon as we wait for that announcement. So watch that closely. Now, of course, if the bulls can really get going um, after that FOMC announcement, then maybe we're up in here testing some of these levels up here. If the bears find inspiration today, well, you can see the only place we really have to go is back down here to test uh, like yesterday's lows. And if that were to fail, as I suggested yesterday, we could still drop down into this area of the chart uh, down here to test this level 
of the diamonds. Let's take a look at our spy real quickly. You know, I'm kind of doing a lot of repeating because this is, um, uh, at least I feel like I'm doing a lot of repeating because the market has been so choppy and uncertain. But um, let's watch this uh, carefully in here. If you take a look right in this area, um, I've got this resistance level marked here in the chart. And obviously we made a lower high and a lower low in the market. So this is officially, you know, a, a downtrending pattern here in the chart. But we push back up here, leaving that hammer pattern. You can see in the pre-market, we're trying to push on through and recover the support area here in the chart. So if the bulls can continue to find inspiration here today, well, I would suggest the possibility that we could push on up and at least test the lower side of these three candles that where we had those kind of spinning candles in here, that back and forth, the high of this candle in here would be a pretty good um, level to be watching. If they can push on through there, then maybe we push up here toward the upper side of those candles. And you can see there's a little bit of area in here of price resistance right in here where we kind of spin around in here and spin around in here. And then, of course, we have our uh, trend lines in here that can serve as a resistance level in the chart. If the bears were to find inspiration today, then you could certainly see we could react negatively to this area of the chart, this uh, support that became resistance yesterday to see whether or not that holds and push back down toward yesterday's low. And then, of course, down into this level of price support in the chart. Now, keeping in mind, we are still below our 50 day moving average. So we've got some work here to do if we're going to continue to uh, push on through those levels. QQQ, very much the same. As you can see here in the QQQ, we did break down to a new low. So we've got a low, um, a lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. That's officially a downtrend. Um, we did break this price support yesterday, which is unfortunate because um, a rally back, this is a, a, a reasonably uh, strong level of price support with all the price action or, or now price resistance. Um, the hammer pattern is good for a follow through today if we can get it. And then if the bulls can find that inspiration, I'd look for a push right up into here and we'll see if that has an opportunity to break. If it does have an opportunity to break, well then the next level is up in here in the chart. But we'll have a lot of congestion to try and break through to make it into that level. And then also, if the bears were to maintain their inspiration here, we could certainly use all of this um, resistance area in here to find that resistance, come back down into this area of the chart. Um, if the bears push today, find inspiration, that low would be the first area to be watching. And then, of course, right in here would be the next level lower if they were to continue to push on. You might notice that I turned this line right here red yesterday because we did um, kind of test this up in here and fail that level. So I turned that red here today. We're building more and more levels of resistance right here in this zone. So watch that. And keeping in mind, we're still below our 50 day moving average. So a little push up here to test that 50 would not be out of the question, but it really doesn't change anything with our overall um, downtrend uh, pattern that we have here in the chart. If we were to take a look at our IWM, well, IWM had it kind of rough yesterday, uh, pushing on down. Uh, we ended up breaking below our 200 day moving average. Again, we're trying to bounce up here this morning. Look for a test of that 200 day. If the bulls can find that inspiration and pop back through, if they can pop back through, well, then we're gonna be looking for this resistance level in the chart that rejected us before, keeping in mind that we are still in a downtrend. So any rally back in here, um, our 50 day moving average you'll notice is starting to roll over here to the downside. So any rally back up into here um, would be a potential short. So if the bears were to find inspiration today, then we would be looking for a test of kind of a major level of price support in the chart and it's down here. So 
if we were to continue to fail and uh, it, it just seems like a pretty good likelihood with IWM uh, any bounce back um, sets up the next opportunity to short I think uh, we still have in that chart um, plenty of patterns here to um, be a little bit uncomfortable with if I um, take all of these drawings away on this chart it's pretty easy to see the bigger head and shoulders pattern here on the IWM also the small head and shoulders pattern on the IWM that's actually activated right now so um, pretty bearish overall on IWM let's take a look at our uh, VIX here today our VIX had a pretty good day yesterday popping up as you can see um, came back up here and tested this resistance level in the chart and then as the bulls came in yesterday they started to back that off and ease up just a little bit still holding in there around 14 handles right in here we um, came right back down to test that little trend area in the chart so there's no fear here in the market which is remarkable considering all the things we have going on the market just doesn't seem to be fearful about anything here um, I don't know if that is um, just an overconfidence in the market but we'll see how that plays out now right in here um, it'll be this downturn break hold of a higher low that really brings fear into the market anything is possible today so there's no way to know how we're going to react to that FOMC data today. Um, let's take a look at um, our T2122. Now T2122 um, gives us a little bit of hope here. You'll notice that we pushed all the way back down here into the, in fact, we were a little bit lower before that rally uh, came in yesterday. So you can see there is actually a little bit of an upside trend right there. And you'll notice we kind of get this little hook starting to happen here. So if the bulls can follow through here, we certainly have opened a very substantial upside opportunity here if those bulls can grab a hold of something in the data today. If the bears find inspiration, well, unfortunately, keep in mind, we've, we still have a pretty um, large area of potential downside to reach our oversold condition here in the chart. So don't rule out the possibility that that could occur. And as a matter of fact, I wouldn't rule out the possibility that we could whipsaw substantially today. Big point moves to whip and test these uh, levels um, before and after uh, we start getting the data on the FOMC. So watch for some big potential moves today as we kind of spill all of this emotion out on the market. If we take a look at our T2108, T2108, the good news here is we did pull back, but we still didn't break those lows. So we're in pretty good shape here on T2108. If those bulls find inspiration to maybe push up off of this, we're about 31.5% of the stocks above their 40 day. So maybe we can push up off of that, and start testing some of these um, resistance areas in the chart, see if we can start relieving some of that sell pressure here if the data um, supports those bulls. If it doesn't and we break these levels here, then watch out below because we could move sharply lower to the downside and probably in a fairly quick way if the bears find their um, inspiration to move our uh, t2107 t2107 not quite as good we we didn't break the lows but we came down here boy we tested them hard um, we uh, at one point of the day we were actually below this level um, yesterday but um, kind of holding in here on t2107 I think that small cap area is a little bit of a problem for us right now, um, but holding in here, so that's a good news thing. If the bulls can find that inspiration, well, maybe we can pop up, start testing some of these resistance levels in the chart, relieving some of that um, selling pressure here in the market. If the bears um, find that inspiration, well, once again here, we can move fairly quickly to the downside if we break that area. You'll notice that this is a um, big old head and shoulders pattern that could be forming in here on T2107. So 43, 44% of the stocks above their 200 day, um, not terribly bearish, but also 
n not all that overly confident either. If we take a look at our T2101, I think this is our culprit here, guys. And I've been mentioning all week that um, about 50% of the companies out there are moving in or already in their blackout period where the company cannot buy back its own stock. It can't do anything, can't talk, can't say much of anything. And that's creating a situation here where our breadth is declining pretty sharply. So I, I, I hate to bring this up because I know this will be like, oh, come on, man. But it's entirely possible that we could get the FOMC announcement and nothing change. Um, <laughs> we've seen that before where the FOMC will announce it's a non-event, the market doesn't move. And one of the reasons that could be added to that um, situation is because all the big companies are um, in their blackout period and they can't buy stock, they can't, they can't do anything. And so that puts that in a really interesting situation. Now, I'm not talking about institutional trading firms like Goldman Sachs and things like that. I'm talking about the physical companies themselves like Apple, Amazon, those kind of companies, because one of the things that's been happening this year is pretty much record um, buying of their own stock. They aren't able to do that right now and so considering that situation we could continue to see this breadth be a problem for us and um, if our breadth continues to decline um, it's going to be very difficult for bears or bulls to find inspiration to do a whole lot of moving so you want to keep that in mind remember markets can go three directions they can go up down and sideways and we do have to consider that possibility of sideways because we could just be in a tightening range that could last all the way to the beginning of next earnings. So uh, just be careful here um, with the potential of that sideways move and the potential uh, as we kind of spill out that emotion today that we could just whipsaw in a big way and really get nothing accomplished. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar is what I've been talking about here all morning. Um, everyone's been waiting for this is the FOMC uh, meeting and the announcement here uh, beginning at 2 p.m. and then 2.30 p.m. Eastern. We're going to get the Fed press conference. So uh, watch for that. Anything is possible after that. But before we get there, we're going to get our mortgage applications. And that's been a little bit of a problem here. We've been seeing bond yields going up. As a matter of fact, as we headed into the close yesterday, we continue to see the two-year bond stretching to the upside. It has eased ever so slightly overnight here, but still very elevated. So we still see um, that pressure on um, interest rates here. So watch that closely. And then we're gonna get another important number here at 1030. That's that petroleum status number, which we know we've been seeing oil prices going up and up and up, which has a major inflationary impact on everything. So that'll be important number today to see whether or not those supplies are in contraction or if we're building supplies here in the United States uh, and that coming up to relieve some of that gas price pressure. So watch that closely it could be very important today and market moving. Um, we've got a four year or four month bond auction um, also in there to be paying attention to. Once we get through all of that and all the gyrations that could be recreated there, keep in mind we're going to jump right into Thursday morning with jobless claims, Philly Fed, current accounts, existing home sales, leading indicators, and the natural gas report. So uh, we're not done with this week and the uncertainties that um, it could provide us. Um, a lot of speculation on what the FOMC is going to say or do. I'm not going to speculate on that. I think anything is possible. Um, let's take a look at um, our um, earnings calendar for today. Now our earnings calendar, pretty light, but at least we have some notables here that you know have the potential to be a bit market moving first off we're gonna the one of the most important i think is going to be um uh, not fcx 
FedEx. So let's keep an eye on FedEx here. FedEx, uh, one of our shippers, obviously very, very important to us as we buy so much online anymore. We are officially uh, continued to officially make this downtrend work. We made lower highs, lower lows, continuing to follow that trend to the downside, this channel that you can see in here moving to the downside in the chart. So this will be an important report today to see whether or not um, FedEx is doing well. I know there's a lot of worry from the pilots. There's been stories on this FedEx pilots that they're just not shipping enough everyone's worried about their job so watch that closely here on FedEx that could um, be an inspiration either for the bulls or bears today we're going to hear from uh, General Mills General Mills has been in his ugly ugly long-term downtrend flat top flat bottom here um, this will be important if General Mills can uh, maybe break this downtrend to the upside if we were to fail here you can see we're in a perfect potential failure pattern as well depending on how that uh, report comes out and then uh, KBH will be important for us as well today on that builder side remember we had Lennar already and Lennar disappointed um, on their report so watch this one closely we're holding here on a price support we've got current downtrend in play this could be key as to whether we finish up this broad head and shoulders pattern here in KBH and we break this neckline down here or if we can push back up and break that downtrend to the upside. So pretty critical area here for KBH. Let's take a look, and, and by the way, that is it for the day. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, but before we do that, guys, just really quickly, if you guys could help me out here, if you could click that um, bell icon, when, or um, click that subscribe button and the bell icon when it pops up, so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Make sure you click those thumbs up buttons if you believe the video was worthy, if it was helpful to your trading, I would really, really appreciate that if you could click uh, that and then leave a brief comment even an emoji counts I want to say thanks so much there's been a, a marked uh, um, um, increase in folks um, responding to the video here just recently thank you for your efforts it does help a lot and I very much appreciate it for the effort it takes to put these videos out um, every day thank you everyone I, I, I I'm humbled every day by your kind words. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at some stock setting up. Remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market. And just remember that we can shift on a dime here today um, on this data. We can be all bullish and then just tear your, tear your heart out moving lower or vice versa. So be very, very careful here on how you trade. Um, if, um, if you're anything like me, it's a kind of a wait and see. I just don't intend to do much buying or selling. Um, I don't do really any intraday trading. So not much buying or selling here of stocks until we get some data and figure out um, how we're going to progress from here. But that being said, let's take a look at a few stocks that I think are showing some interesting uh, patterns in here. As you guys know, I've been mentioning AT&T coming up in this chart, looking pretty good, breaking that downtrend, moving on higher. Um, I have a little bias on this because I have been nibbling in here on this, not taking a big position yet because I'm not I'm overly confident in it, but I'm starting to see some good signs here in telecommunications, particularly in AT&T. This is a good dividend pair, so might be just one of those um, uh, small position holds, or it could be a larger position hold if we continue to develop in this pattern to the upside. Um, take a look at um, KHC following that same uh, theme here of some of these old defensive sector companies and good dividend payers. KHC, nice little inverted head and shoulders pattern showing up here. Yesterday was a really good day for it popping through. If we can break through this resistance up here and continue to hold following that trend that'll be a break of our downtrend and I think there may be some upside here if that were to occur so keep a close eye on that we're also seeing stocks like uh, PepsiCo um, 
that have been trying to come up. Now this is a very odd looking head and shoulders pattern, but you can see it in here. If we can hold this higher low over here, look for that opportunity to that move on to move on higher. So we're starting to see a few of those defensive sector stocks uh, find a little love. And that might be just nothing more than an institutional rotation looking for a little bit of safety here in the market. Um, if they are to believe that the market could roll over looking for a little bit of safety. Now we had our first break um, yesterday, substantial break in um, CCJ, CCJ, big hard pullback yesterday coming back and then definitely needed that. So any rest or pullback that pulls back into the support level and trend here, continue to look for that opportunity to the upside if we can rest or pull back in here. Um, keep looking at that. UUUU is another one to look at. URA also doing the same thing. Keep a close eye on those. Still looking pretty darn good um, out there in the market. Um, we're also seeing um, 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 oil. Uh, oil uh, sector stocks got hit pretty hard yesterday, finally relieving some of that pressure you can see here in XLE, pulling back to the trend. Now, if we hold in here, if we hold, hold support, and those numbers today from a petroleum status shows a decline in, su in supplies, then we still have that opportunity that could bounce right up off of that area. We still see some very, very good patterns out there that uh, could potentially set up Halliburton testing this resistance up here and backing away. But as long as it doesn't fail trend, that has that opportunity to push on through. So quite a few of those out there, uh, Schlumberger has already broken through and it's still resting up here, pulling back to trend and support. Pretty good uh, bearish candle there yesterday in that reversal. But if we find out that our oil supplies are shrinking, we could easily see that push to the upside. So keep a close eye on those. Boy, I gotta tell you, it's interesting. There are some retailers out here that are super, super strong. One being Walmart. Walmart has been very, very strong. Um, the only place they really made money last quarter was in the grocery sector they, um, because uh, folks are looking to save some money. And as you can see, um, any rest or pullback into here still sets up an opportunity to the upside in Walmart. So worth keeping an eye on, but we've got so many of these retail stocks looking just absolutely, they're just brutal um, in their selling here on some of these. So it's a very mixed sector of the market. You gotta be kind of careful. So with that, everyone, I'm running out of time. This video is getting too long. I wanna wish you all a fantastic day, great results results in your trading. Wish everyone a profitable day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have an awesome day everyone.